no one told me. No. <laughs> right, well, if the officer could come round as soon as possible. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your help. Bye. What did the police say? Yes, he's out. Are you serious? He was released weeks ago. The police are coming over. They said they left me a voicemail, but I never got it, Paddy. Or if I did, I guess I must have just deleted it by mistake. It was busy, wasn't I? I was, I was getting ready to go to France. Uh, the florist don't remember who bought the flowers, just that it was a cash sale. I mean, could be somebody's idea of a joke. This is Pierce. I know it. He's after me. I had no idea. He's aware of the conditions of his licence. If he's breached them, he knows he'll go back to prison. You don't believe me. We're taking this very seriously. While we investigate, we'll follow all the protocols to make sure he can't come anywhere near you or your family. You don't know what he's like, OK? He is smart and he's dangerous and he hates me for putting him in prison. Well, that's it. I'm going to move in. I'll sleep on the floor outside your room. Paddy, how is that going to work with a new baby? You can't just abandon Chaz. Well, move in with us. You and Leo, move in with us tonight. Right. The police know now what he's done, right? So you're going you're gonna to keep an eye on him, yeah? Of course. He drove me out of my home once before. He is not doing that again. I'm staying here where I belong. We'll do everything we can to keep you safe. In the meantime, be extra vigilant. If you're worried or feel threatened, call us straight away. I'll be in touch as soon as I can. This is what's going to happen. Lock up. Every door, every night. And don't go the loo without your phone. That door I found open, you know, I knew somebody had been in here. I thought it was Kim, didn't I? And the smash fell, so you thought that was her as well. But she had an alibi. Yeah, but all that sending the flowers with the note about destiny... Which I completely missed. And then he comes around here and smashes a photo. It doesn't make sense, even if he had been here. Oh, he has. I know it. More than once. Oh, he could have been upstairs, Paddy in my bedroom, watching me. Watching Leo. He's taking a massive risk. What if somebody had seen him? Everybody around here knows what he looks like. Graham didn't. Oh my God. That photo that he smashed was of, of me and Leo with another man. A happy family together. Pierce was always so jealous. I thought Kim was the only person who hated Graham enough to want him dead. Pierce would have hated him even more. Potential licence conditions breach. Pierce Harris, as soon as you can. Thanks. Thought we'd stick to bottled water from now on. It's not exactly environmentally friendly, I know, but these must. I don't want anything from you. Just a little sip. When I see you've not eaten or drunk anything for hours. Sick woman like you, you need to take care of yourself. You think I'm gonna let you sedate me? <sighs> Relax, will you? Why would I do that? Trust me. I'm going to need you at your very perkiest best. <laughs> Good girl. You say you want me to persuade Rona to take you back. How can I do that? You'll find out soon enough. And the good news is... ...the <sighs> ordeal will be over. Looks like Rona's called in the police. Must have been Paddy winding her up, making her paranoid. Well, she's got everything to look forward to. <sighs> now that police were on my case, it changes everything. Clock's ticking, Vanessa. And there was me, hoping that, that we could spend more time together. Oh, well, all good things must come to an end. Very soon, I'll have Rona back. You'll have served your purpose. And your work here will be done. 